so this is an overview of my all aluminum six foot by 12 foot enclosed cargo trailer conversion um, it's seven feet tall pulls really nicely V nose it's got the ramp door the latch handles and it's not 100% done yet but it's getting close so I thought I would share um, so starting at the front I put a tackle box on here or a toolbox rather for the battery I built brackets and secured it to that so it's just a hundred amp hour battery and that insulation is just so it doesn't move around when I'm going down the road and then I also put um, short power 120 volt in there and I can show you the inside It's all aluminum, which is really nice. And there's Charlie. Also, one more thing I should mention for trailer security: we have this, so that bolts into the coupler, so you can't hook anything up to that. I also have these chains wrapped around and locked. All right, so coming to the inside. has this lock which is nice keep the door from moving and here are the switches so we can start at the front here um, I don't have a face for this cabinet yet so it looks like a mess but again it's a work in progress we got some storage up there here is the sink. Um, this is an old or a big salad bowl. I cut a hole in the middle and turned it into a sink. Um, stainless steel so it won't rust. These are some uh, shower caddies you can get on Amazon that I just screwed into the, the wall. And then we have LED lights up there. And then some storage up here with a bungee so it doesn't move when we're traveling. And for the water, um, we are just using these, I believe they're six gallon containers. So here's your black, or your gray tank rather, just drains into there. Here's the fresh water. So right now I have it pulling to antifreeze because we are winterizing it. But um, when you're using it, you know, you just take this tube out, drop it in here with the fresh water, and then you would have. Um, on demand water and here's the switches so this is the water pump so it's antifreeze right now but that's how that works and then before i show the electrical system i put this drop down cabinet here part of the countertop i got I just got two um brackets that fold down for extra countertop space when you're cooking and then we also have a TV that pulls out pretty far so we can watch it while we're in bed um, just a folding table there for cooking or eating or whatever we need and then this is the camper when the bed is folded up so I've made this bed on door hinges And it's a, it's a queen size bed. It's a short queen, uh, but it's a pretty good size. And so, as you can see, it's on hinges and then it folds down and rests on here for extra support. And I got another one over there. Um, this is just vinyl flooring that I cut and rolled in here. And then I also made this bench, which the foam is not done yet. I haven't wrapped it. Um, but it lifts up and there's plenty of storage in there for you know kitchen stuff bedding whatever you need and the gate or the ramp drops down we kind of use it as a deck 
Uh, I do have deadbolts on each side, so when we're sleeping in here, we can lock it. And then the door also has a deadbolt on it. Um, there is a roof vent, which is nice. There's no fan, but um, it gives us some ventilation. And there is carbon monoxide smoke detector. I put some hooks up in random spots. And I forgot to mention there is one inch of insulation in the walls. Um, I can put some pictures up of when we did that. And then there is an inch, a, inch and a half of insulation in the ceiling. So um, I also have four LED lights, two in the back, one in the middle, one in the front. Um, and then again, one underneath there. Um, and to keep the bed up, I just have these D-rings I put up here, um, and then just a cam strap with this so the, the hook doesn't fall out. And I'll bring the bed down to show you that in a minute. Um, but I wanted to show the electrical system, which is kind of a mess. <laughs> but here is the shore power coming in, uh, which I showed you earlier. So that's 120. Um, and I have it wired to this outlet as well as this outlet and this is kind of just where my battery charger lives um, 2 amp hour battery charger trickle charger So that charges the battery when we're hooked up to shore power. We can use the TV DVD player um, Whatever and these two outlets when we're not on shore power um, We have this inverter 500 watt inverter that I just use with an extension cord um, to power the TV and everything we would need 124 and then for the 12 volt system I have it coming in from the battery here's your main disconnect um, to turn the power off and then that goes to the fuse box so the fuse box goes out to all the different lights and um, outlets and switches so for example we have charging USB ports here for your phones whatnot cigarette lighter and then we have um, the main lights cabinet light this one isn't hooked up yet that's for if I get a fan on the ceiling and then this is the water pump so everything is running off the fuses it's still kind of messy in here I gotta clean that up I still have to do trim work and for the this little cabinet or shelf I made with the countertop um, you know I just screwed this into the wall I made supports on the sides here to support the front same with here and then down here obviously and then I'm gonna put a face on here not sure what it's gonna look like yet but I still have to figure that out and then the same style here with this shelf um, with supports you know just bolted it into the frame of the aluminum trailer these supports here and then this one runs across and bolts into screws into the side here and this is just a half inch piece of plywood and for everything like the bench and the bed i used half inch plywood um for these supports you know i just pocket drilled them to give it some some um rigidity and structure so I will drop the bed down and show you guys that in a minute so this is what the camper looks like with the bed down again I just took that strap off folded the bed down it rests um, on the bench here so it's perfectly level it's very stable um, and again underneath you know we have I think five or six three and a half inch door hinges and then it rests on those for extra support so it's very stable plenty of storage underneath um, sleeps me and my wife and my youngest son comfortably on here and then my eight-year-old sleeps on his little cot here on the floor and then with the deck up I have some aluminum jack stands I just have one under there right now usually I put two um, but this makes a nice deck for hanging out and yeah it's nice and open and airy and we don't have a screen on here yet but we will 
for the summertime. We've only used it once this fall. But so far really enjoying it. One thing I also forgot to mention is um, I do have a two burner Coleman propane stove I put up here to cook if it's crappy outside. And then we use this table to put in the middle here and we sit here and eat and one person can sit here or on the deck. Uh, but most of the time we just cook outside, eat at the picnic table. Um, but if it is rainy, we do have room to cook and prepare food and eat in here. One thing I forgot to mention, um, this is a 12 volt water pump for a camper. That's pretty easy to find online. Um, don't remember the brand name and I can't really read that, but they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, works good, haven't had any issues. Um, like I said, this is the intake. Uh, shows you which way the water flow goes and then it hooks right to the, oh, looks like it might have a slight leak here. Tighten that up. Uh, hooks right into the hose line for the faucet, for the cold water. And then the hot water I just have capped right now. Um, since this does not have hot water, if we are ever to need it, it would be easy to hook up, but right now I just have a shutoff valve on here. Um, so the water comes out the hot when you're running the cold. And for the drain, like I said, just goes right into this gray water holding tank. So pretty easy to dump or transport and take home if you need to. And the same with the fresh water. We can just fill that up, drop the hose in, and then we have running water. And then there's also this sprayer that I do have hooked up, but I have not used it yet. And then again storage up here so it's really nice um, to have these seven foot tall ceilings because i'm just under six feet and i have plenty of room and it makes it feel much bigger in here so i would recommend getting the extra ceiling height if you're looking at getting a trailer like this and definitely go aluminum um, there's no rust it will never rot um, if it leaks you're just going to have wood problems and not metal steel rusting out so definitely recommend going with aluminum. And again, this, this kind of swings out so we can watch TV while we're sitting in bed. And uh, for traveling, I just have a bungee cord that we hook up to these two eye bolts and it stays put. So this is the chain I bought. Um, it's pretty heavy duty, it's square, which makes it a lot harder to cut, and this very heavy duty padlock. Um, obviously no trailer is um, going to be 100% safe, if somebody wants to steal it, they're going to steal it, but this will slow them down uh, a lot. So I'd recommend this, it's just an insurance policy, and again it just goes through the wheel, wrap around the axle and should deter somebody and have them go to the next person.